hair. It's amongst us all. Some of us have straight hair, some of us have curly hair. Some of us have more hair collected on our faces than we do on our heads. But that's all right, it's hair, it still counts. And we go through various lengths to maintain our hair. We wash our hair, I would really hope so. You might even get a couple of nice smelling shampoos. But what happens when we take this desire for the perfect hair texture too far by adding hazardous chemicals to our hair care regime? Well, I won't leave you in too much suspense, this can occur. In many cultures, the desired hair texture is straight hair, and this is most definitely the case in African and Caribbean communities, where a looser hair texture is the ideal hair texture. This hair type is obtained by using a white cream called a relaxer, and the relaxer works by chemically breaking down the hair strand, giving it a straighter, looser look. However, relaxers contain various toxic substances. One of those substances is sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is also known as lye, and it's also known as the active ingredient in drain cleaner. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the same substance that you use to literally melt and dissolve the substances stuck within your water pipes is the same substance that some women are using to get straight hair. Now, I know what you're thinking. What sort of money-hungry individual came up with such a barbaric way to achieve beauty? Well, please allow me to give you a little history lesson. The very first hair straightening cream was invented by this man. His name is Garrett Augustus Morgan. He was trying to find a solution to ease the friction of his sewing machine. He did so by using a white cream. He then tested this white cream on a neighboring dog's fur. After discovering that the cream made the dog's fur straight, he started distributing it to African-American women. He did pretty well for himself, considering that he only received a primary level of education. Good for him, but not good for the 23,580 premenopausal women who were followed for fibroids between the years 1997 and 2009. Fibroids are non-cancerous ca non growths that can develop in and around the womb between the years of 16 to 50. Here is what they look like. Please turn away if you do not like blood. Some of the symptoms for fibroids includes lower back pains, lower abdominal pains, and repeated miscarriages. All of these implications due to a young woman's quest to find what she believes is beautiful. Contradictory to all of this, there's a new natural trend where 60% of US millennials say that they would much rather use food products as, as beauty products because they actually know the ingredients within them. This contradicts the whole relaxer matter, but there's no doubt that this issue remains and it's widespread. One reason in particular why I chose to speak out on this topic in particular was because I too used to relax my hair. Like many young girls growing up, my very first role model was my mum. I wanted to look just like her. She had long, thick black hair, and I too wanted long, thick black hair. So I went to her one day and I said, Mum, can, can I relax my hair? She said no. Then I went to her for a second time. Mum, can I relax my hair? She said, no. <laughs> After months and months of, persu of persuading and begging, she finally let me relax my hair. I used the children's hair relaxer. But to my dismay, what I ended up with was not long, thick black hair like my mum's, but an array of sores and scars collected on my scalp. And I actually ended up having to go to the GP because of the severe irritation caused to my scalp. Now, it's not that women don't care about the serious health implications that can be caused due to relaxers. It's just that they don't know, they're not informed about the serious health implications that can be, that can be caused by beauty products. Like I said, I use the children's hair relaxer, but little did I know, or my mum, that know that. The only difference between the children's hair relaxer and the adult hair relaxer was the image on the front of the box. They both contain the exact same ingredients, and therefore, it's our duty to educate and inform young girls and women everywhere that some beauty products can actually end up doing more harm than good. We need to make this apparent and widespread before girls all over the world pay the price of beauty. Thank you.